calculate the value of x and hence find the value of the area of the triangle ABC. So we've got 5, we've got this one as x, we've got 6. We can't use the... Uh, we, we could use the sine rule, okay, by uh, finding that, that angle, using that one, and then find that angle, and then find that side opposite uh, C here. Or we could use the cosine rule straight away. So I'm going to use the cosine rule here. So labeling my triangle, ABC, so opposite... A opposite angle A, B opposite angle B, and C opposite angle C. Using the cosine rule, I'm using A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A, because that's the one I've got. So A is going to be 6, so 6 squared plus B squared, which is 5 squared, plus C squared, which is X squared, minus 2 times 5 times c, which is x, times the cos of 6, 30. 6 squared is 36, 5 squared is 25, x squared, and we've got 2 times 5, which is 10, and uh, cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. This 2 and 10 will cancel, so we ended up with 36 is equal to 25 plus x squared minus 5 root 3x, Rearranging that for quadratics, we take the 36 over here, we get x squared minus 5 root 3x minus 11, 25 minus 36, is equal to 0. So, how are we going to solve that? We're going to use our GDC, and we're going to use, draw a graph, and just find where the, uh, the graph of y is equal to this, and find where it cuts the axis, but we won't, uh, we will ignore any negative values. So, Go into my GDC, go into graphing mode, and then putting in the function which is x squared minus 5 root 3, so control root 3, hit the arrow key, x minus 11. Uh, it's not going to give a very good view window, I could solve it using that, but we better have a nice view window. So menu. Window zoom and window settings, and I'm just going to change these from minus three to twelve. Okay, and you can do some zooming techniques to to get this. And then I want uh, this to go from let's say twenty-two, uh, no thirty thirty to about twenty-two. But you can use the zoom out, zoom in functions. Okay, uh, uh, minus, my, uh, wrong way around. So 22 should be minus 30. That's what the problem was there. Okay, so we get a reasonable looking graph there. Right, need to find where it cuts the axis. So it's menu. Number six, analyze the graph. We want to know where the zeros are to the left and to the right. That's a negative one, so we're going to ignore that one. Menu, analyze the graph, zero to the other one, to the left, to the right, and we've got this other one which is 9.784. This one's no good, we can't have a negative x, it doesn't mean anything on the triangle. So, technically speaking, you should draw that graph into your book, so x is equal to minus 1.24, which is not possible, or 9.784. So that gives me 9.78. centimeters to get the units and then the last part is we have to find the area so now that we've got that and that we can do a half a b sine c so the area is a half b c sine a in this case b c sine a so that's going to be a half of 5 times c which is 9.784 times the sine of the angle between them with sine of 30 and that will give me 18.5 12.23, which gives me 12.2 centimetres squared, correct to three significant figures.